and just scrying the aether of lit, and the angels are bidding me to relax, and they're having me focus on my own mind. And as I do so, I'm seeing the um, two by two by two cube that is uh, made up, which is made up of dots, uh, seems to be waving back and forth along the Z axis in, it's as if a plane were, uh, a 2D plane were moving through the, through the cube. And I'm seeing it sort of turn again, once, once again into a sphere. So this is sort of a cubing the sphere or sphering the cube, depending on how you look at it. Um, and I'm seeing this sphere sort of open up at the top. It's turning into a toroidal-like figure. And it, now it's turning into a torus. And I'm seeing it spin around very rapidly and it's like it is emitting, um, emitting particles as it does. But those same particles kind of come back um, at the exact same speed and sort of are bringing themselves back into this, uh, ba back into the Taurus. And I'm seeing some white light come up now. I'm being bid, bid to relax. And it's getting brighter and it's glowing. And, and I'm feeling this energy sort of rise up in my heart or flow into my heart or my heart is sort of opening up to this very beautiful warm light that is moving through it. And this is the sense of the heart at when it is recognizing itself as very much aligned to the divine. And there's a very, very profound piece that goes along with this. And this is what it's like when somebody is going through these very profound changes and then comes very quickly back to the divine. And suddenly that motion is just dropped and one realizes one is already aligned. And that feeling it becomes overwhelming, it becomes all-encompassing over time as it as the person moves through these subtle layers. And what I'm seeing is when this profound peace overtakes a group of people, then what I'm seeing is there's sort of this this understanding, this shared understanding, maybe not in particulars to whoever's experience it is, but in terms of the overall outlook of peace, calm, um, oneness, wholeness, and which is not to say bypassing the thing, the real problems that are there, but recognizing them that they're only problems. You know, they are not symptoms of existential everything, even though in our minds we can build them up as that, but they're not that. They're just problems and that they can be faced and overcome. And... This piece is just very profound, and it really is sort of um, this ability of a mind to tap into and recognize itself as just as being part of this overall clear light mind that the Buddhists speak of, but it's also recognizing oneself as part of an overall consciousness or mind that is simultaneously developing within all sentient beings 
but in particular in human beings. And it's enough. And I'm just getting the sense that there's even more subtle body work going through me, trying my best to relax into it and allow it. And the sense I get is that is that this will be uh, much more profound when I get to the Aether of Lil. So that's only four days away. So very beautiful, very calm, and very much worth it. So that sends the vision. <laughs>